Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video and today guys EA have just released the new Premier League player of the month for December and Bruno Hernandez, uh, Bruno Fernandez has won it back to back. He was player of the month for November where he had a 91 rated card and now for December a 92 rated does he deserve it? I think to be fair, he does. It would have been cool to have seen a Mohamed Salah or maybe a Marcus Rashford bit, but Fernandez is going to want it back to back. Not really good for people that might have done his 91 player of the month. That's going to be a bit of a kick in the teeth for you guys. But let's see um, what this card requires. And then we'll have a look at his in game stats and see how he compares to his other 91 cards his headline of 91 and his 91 player of the month. Now, the 91 um, player of the month from last month required five segments. This one requires six. Oh, will we see like an 89 rated squad requirements? Who knows? So it's going to be an 81 rated, uh, sorry, an 84 rated. Then another 84 with a team of the week. High chemistry requirements on those. Then an 85 rated, an 86 with a team of the week, an 87 with a team of the week, and an 88 rated squad. That's going to be over a million. That's going to probably be about 1.2 million if you had to sit there and buy every single card. And he's going to be getting literally a team of the year in the next what, like, 7 to 10 days, um, which kind of makes this SBC not quite as exciting as if we would have got, because obviously Marcus Rashford and Mohamed Salah, they're not getting into Team of the Year, that's why I was hoping one of those two was going to get this player of the month card, just to make it a bit more exciting, I feel like this 92 card, as good as he is, it's a bit of a waste, um, but of course, EA don't decide it. It's obviously the community, um, you know, football fans in general that decide. And obviously, does he deserve to get player of the month? Yes, he probably does. But it just would have been cool if he would have saw like a Mohamed Salah um, or, or a Rashford. Now, four star, four star, nice height. I mean, that card's fantastic. His pace is fine. His shot power and long shots at 99 is fine. It doesn't matter. He's only got 85 finishing. That doesn't matter because of how good his, his shot power, positioning, and long shots are. And his penalties, his volleys, his passing superb. His dribbling. Oh, man. That is such a good card. The amount of traits he does have as well. I'm just like, shouldn't this card feel like, in, I'm trying to think how like a team of the year Bruno Fernandes can feel any better than this. Have like, obviously a, the team of the egg one. I'd say the only differences that you would notice between doing this 92 card and then having his team of the year one is that he would feel quicker and, and a little bit more stronger. I don't think you notice that much more differences because I, I don't think a Bruno Fernandes team of the year with 98 passing, I don't think you'd notice that much of a difference between that one and this one. I think the differences that you're going to notice, as I said before, will be his physicality, maybe his defensive play, and then also his pace. But that card is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, I know that the 91 um, is player of the month from last month was definitely over a million coins. That one's going to be about 1.2 or 1.3 million. Um, so it kind of sucks for the people that might have done his 91 player of the month. But I just want to have a look at how he compares with his other 91 cards, because he does have a headliner card as well, which is this one, no, that's the player of the month one, this is the headliner, isn't it? It is, okay, so what differences have they got between the two player of the month cards? So two more pace, one more shooting, one more passing, dribbling up dribbling up by one, and then defending and physicality up by two, so it's a pretty nice upgrade, I think, for just a one overall upgrade, it is, a, it is quite a nice upgrade. Um, in my personal opinion, that, that, that is a, a pretty good upgrade. Yeah, definitely pace-wise, and then three more strength is pretty good. A lot more interceptions, defensive awareness is better. It really, I mean, if you got the 91 card, you go and do the 92. No, you don't. Uh, I remember in previous years, um, what they used to do was the if, if a player ever got a second player of the month, you could put the original player of the month to make the upgraded player of the month SBC a lot more cheaper. Remember when they used to do that back in like FIFA 17 or FIFA 18? They don't do that anymore. If they used to do that, then yes, for the people that had the 91, you should put it into 92. But if you're sitting there right now with the 90, with the 91 player of the month Bruno Fernandes, you don't upgrade it because even though this 92 card is better, you wouldn't notice a difference in upgrading him in my personal opinion. And of course, you do have the headliners card as well that no doubt will get upgrades, of course, if United win the four matches and also have plenty more informs. So if you've got the headliners cards you don't sell the headliners and do the player of the month you just keep the headliners cards in my personal opinion but on the whole it, it is a great card it's just so expensive 
But as I suppose at the same time, you're going to be getting one of the best cams in the game, but it would be a cam that you wouldn't be able to sell, and he will get more special cards. The chances are the fact he's already got now back-to-back -back Player of the Month and how well Man United are playing, the chances are he will get another Player of the Month between now and the end of the season, in my opinion. Because you've still got January, February, March, April. You've still got five more months left of Player of the Month cards to come. I would be surprised in those next five months he doesn't pick up another player of the month. I'm not saying that next month he's going to go win it for the third time in a row, but we've seen him previous year, like of Mohamed Salah have amazing gears where he got like like five player of the month cards over the course of a season or something like that. And I can very much see Bruno Fernandes picking up a 93 player of the month in the future. So it's a great card. It really, really is. I'm just a bit disappointed that we didn't get a Salah because I would have done him and I would have had him in my main team. But on the whole, it's a fantastic SBC. It's just... So expensive. So expensive. But I suppose at the same time, you are getting a card that is literally going to be good even at team of the season time. This card would still be fantastic. Uh, and think of how expensive his team of the year card's going to be as well. That's going to be so much his team of the year card. Like His team of the year card's going to be well over 3 million coins. Maybe even at 4 million potentially because like the hype around him. And this card, you may already have like lots of stuff in your club to go and do him. Um, but I think if you're going to do this card, you've literally got to do him in mind of thinking that I'm going to use him up until team of the season. If you've only got in your mind that I'm not going to, that you don't plan to use him for, you know, for, for that long. I, th I think it's a card that if you're going to do him, you need to play him for a long period of time to get your value for money out of him. Because if you don't, then it's just going to be a waste of your time, in my personal opinion. It, it, it's a great card, but but so, so expensive. So that's all I can say on it. I think it's a great value for money. I, I, I don't think it's, in, in some ways, I don't think it's bad value for money. Because there are upgrade packs to be able to do uh, available in the game. But can you justify spending? I mean, obviously, you know, if you have to buy every single player, can you justify spending like 1.2 million coins to go and do the SBC? No, you can't. If you've already got stuff in your club, it does make a little bit more sense to be able to do him. But on the whole, I'm just going to say it's a great SBC, but extremely expensive. Let me guys know what you think in the comment section as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.